All right, guys, I am not in my regular studio. I am in Maryland traveling and beginning my Thanksgiving holiday week. But I dove into the charts for Bitcoin, for the miners, and for an altcoin. And what I saw, I got pretty excited about. I would actually say that I wanted to title this video a red hot trade alert because I think that Bitcoin is getting ready to move higher. And I have a target, a prediction that I'm gonna give for you guys today. And I'm gonna tell you how I think it's going to affect the miners. And I'm going to give you guys a timeline prediction for these moves, which I think is very exciting. Now, if you're a member of the Discord, after I'm done making this video, between today and tomorrow, I'm gonna to post some charts and some additional specifics for exactly how I'm going to trade this move, uh, because I think it opens up an opportunity. Uh, now, there are always, whenever I set up a trade alert like today, I'm gonna to let you guys know that there are still things I'm gonna be watching for to confirm the what I believe I see that the charts are telling me that Bitcoin's going to do and what the miners are going to do and what the altcoin that I'm watching is going to do. But I can tell you that if it does what I think the charts are telling me it's going to do, there's a huge opportunity here. This is the Stocks with Josh show. This is Thanksgiving week ahead of us. I hope that it's going to be a restful week. I am going to continue to stay connected. I'm going to be connected to these markets and I will be sharing with you guys what I'm doing and I will be answering questions in the comments and the Discord. I just want to thank you guys in advance for all the likes. I want to thank you for all the love. Hit subscribe if you need help trading these markets. If you've made mistakes on trading Bitcoin, if you were one of the guys that was going short right before this thing exploded higher and you need help uh, trading Bitcoin, guys, we called the move up on Bitcoin. When it was down at 25, I pointed out some very important technicals that it had, it had achieved a very slight higher low when it had come down and tested the support box that it was in. And that's how I knew that it was at least going back to the middle of the range. And of course, since then, it's exploded higher. We know that Bitcoin is still up out of all of, if we were to compare Bitcoin to the Magnificent Seven, it's still one of the very best performers. It's still up over 100% this year. And here's what's amazing about that. It's up 100% so far this year, and this is considered the accumulation zone. This is not even the markup zone. So ahead of us in 2024, when the Bitcoin halving event occurs in April, that's actually when this thing is set to explode and go higher. When this thing was 15.5, when it got back up to 20, I told everybody, months and months and months ago, I said that was the technical bottom. But we don't care what happened in the past. We want to know what is happening with Bitcoin ahead of us. And I'm just going to give you guys a sneak peek. If we can, for a couple more days, stay above this 36,000 level, technically, it really appears to me like Bitcoin's going to shoot up to 41K. Now, from my point of view, that's going to be the top of this move. And it's going to be actually very characteristic to some previous moves where Bitcoin went up after it formed a box of consolidation. It had not gone up the 80 to 100 percent that I expected it to. Now, with this move, we will have gone up the right percentage amount. And so, guys, here's what we're watching for. Number one. We need to see that it holds above 36K. If it continues to hold above 36K, then this thing is taking off. Now, don't be surprised if we have a intraday fake out move to, to wipe out some liquidity beneath people that have begun to go uh, along too soon, wipe them out and then begin to move up from there. So I'm also gonna be telling you that the other confirmation that we're gonna be watching for for Bitcoin, ultimately, this month and in the month of December is a rejection candle on a larger time frame. We don't have that. That's a second confirmation to me that we're not done going up yet. And so my prediction for Bitcoin right now is if we don't get a rejection candle and we stay above 36,000 going into this week, that we are going to hit 41K. Now, ultimately, the timeline that I think it's going to then move down, and this is just as important as understanding the prediction that we're gonna hit 41K. After we hit 41K, 
I believe that we're going to have 120 days of a slow bleed off that could potentially bring us all the way back to critical support between 30 and 31,000. And so in the next 30 days, I am predicting a move to 41K, and I'm going to get into how that's going to affect the miners here in just a minute. But then after that move occurs, I'm then predicting a 120-day bleed off in Bitcoin to bring it all the way back to support around right around 30 to 31K. That's our first prediction for the day. The second question is, how is this going to affect the miners? Well, the miners are going up. Now, you guys have known that I have been saying that the miners are going to ultimately come back and test a low range of support. I'm still holding to that prediction. And personally, uh, I've, I watch other YouTubers. I have YouTubers as friends, and I'm the only one saying that that, that, I've been, that I've been hearing. If you guys know anybody else that's been telling you where Mara and Riot are going to go before the halving event and giving you an exact price point, and it's where I've said it's going to go, I'd love to put them in the comment section. I want to watch their stuff because I'll tell you guys right now. Right now, I think Mara is going to shoot up when Bitcoin shoots up potentially to this 3841k Mara's going to shoot up to my target of $12.80 now I've been looking carefully at the candles and Mara's even though it pulled back the last couple days it's actually still holding a higher low okay very bullish for Mara right now so I think that we're going to shoot up to that 1280 and I also think that in the course of time when we get that 120 day bleed off leading into April of next year, I think we're going to come all the way back to $5 on Mara. You guys know I've said that, so please mark that down. Now, Riot, I'm just going to cover Mara and Riot today. I will give an updated schedule on all of the miners. I will give that in the Discord. If you're not a member of the Discord, there's a link in the top pinned comment for the Stock Squad Patreon. That's where four uh, stock guys, myself, Stock Mo, Keenan Grace, and Stock Up with Larry Jones are providing trade alerts and technicals and answering questions every day. I think it's an amazing group. Come over there and check it out. But I will give an update on CleanSpark, Cypher, and all the other miners, Hut 8 and Hive over there. But let me cover Riot for you guys because these are the big boys. Now, I know that you guys trade all of them, but these are the two big boys that I tend to focus on. I wanted you guys to have the numbers on Riot. So when Bitcoin makes this move that I'm predicting to 38 to 41, Riot is going to shoot up as well. Now, it's going to go higher. It's going to go almost up to $14. I'm saying my target is $13.80. And after it makes that move up, then we're going to have a slow bleed all the way back to $6.80 on Riot. Now, when we get that formation of the price targets I just gave you for Mara and Riot, we're going to have a head and shoulders pattern on a smaller time frame, but oddly, an inverse head and shoulders pattern on a larger time frame. So in the micro, that head and shoulders pattern is pointing towards my prediction of a lower minor price for Mara and Riot down the road or here in you know here ultimately down the road but then when you take a step back and you look at the last couple of years you're seeing a much bigger move that's potentially pointing to a breakout in the miners in 2024 so to me the charts are pretty consistent now i'm going to get into this altcoin that's had an incredible move it's up 230 percent this year alone and it's not yet moving up and i have clear technicals i've been asked uh didi in the comments and one of the great members of the Stocks with Josh fam, hey Didi, she asked me to cover this and I actually, it's one of my bigger positions and so it's time to get this covered and we're talking chain link today. I'm going to give you guys some fresh technicals as well as a hard prediction as to what I think is going to happen in the chain link uh, chart here in just a minute, but I'm going to take a quick station break. If you guys need better trade tools and you're needing to open up an exchange, I've got two exchanges that you should look at. They're zero cost to trade platforms. One is Mumu and the other one is Weeble and right now they're both having a great stock offer deal which means that if you open the account and you fund it they're going to give you free stock to start your trading journey with and so you get to 
put a little bit of money in and they're going to put some money in your account as well. I want you guys to check out those links and see those offers for yourself. Uh, Moomoo is available in Australia, the US and Canada and Weeble is available in the US and the UK and there's a link in the top pin comment for both of those. Okay, let's, let's find out what's happening in Chainlink. Now, I did a video last year that made, I pointed out that Chainlink was one of my top cryptos. It was my, in my top three and it was in my top 10. And I specifically said that it is one of the core altcoins that's needed to really make the crypto market work in 2024 and 2025. It's the oracle of cryptos. It's actually the backbone that allows these to connect. And they just launched a new software called CCIP. It stands for cross-chain interoperability protocols. And that's what the future of cryptos is all about. They need to communicate with each other. They're going to coexist hundreds and thousands, and there needs to be a mutual language in which they communicate. And Chainlink is that backbone, Oracle backbone, interoperability uh, crypto that's going to bring a lot of communication together specifically for the banking institution is doing a hard adoption right now of Chainlink. And that's why this thing has exploded up 236. Now, when it was under $5, I almost came out. Now, I can't give financial advice, but I, I, can't, I couldn't have made it more clear that it was worth accumulating this coin. I feel like in a way I almost I almost begged you guys to buy a little chain link. And right now it's up 236%, and that's not the end of the run. But I'm going to break down exactly where I think it's going to go. I'm going to be giving you guys a hard prediction for Chainlink, and we're going to see if it plays out. We're going to see if Josh, uh, Josh's uh, <laughs> Stocks with Josh predictions hold up over time. All right, let's just take a look at the chart. This thing had an all-time high of $53, and then it came all the way down to $5, and it lived at the $5 consolidation or accumulation zone for months and months and months. And in recent days, it's gone up all the way 236%. But basically, the question is, this month, how this month ends is super important. Now, I actually believe, guys, that this thing still has room up. A lot of people are selling their chain link and they're happy to cash out a massive 200% gain. But I actually think that after Bitcoin moves up and then it begins to come off, we're going to see the altcoins have another pump up. And I think we're going to see Chainlink hit as high as $18. Now, the ceiling on this move is probably $20. I do not see it going past $20. But I do believe that we're going to push back up into that $16, $18 price. And after we have that final pump up to to 18 is really my critical number that I'm going to be watching for. And it could go anywhere from 16 to 20, but 18 is that critical number I'm watching for. Then we're going to see the same thing with Chainlink that I'm predicting for Bitcoin and the miners. We're going to see a 120 day bleed off before we get to the halving event. And here's the good news and the bad news. The good news is that even though we're going to reach $18 to $20 on Chainlink, and a lot of people are going to have a ton of FOMO because they're going to be hearing about how amazing this crypto is. Now, you guys heard about how amazing this crypto was a year ago before it was even $5. But they're going to begin to hear about it, and they're going to buy that $20 top. But I want you guys to be patient because the game of investing is patience. You know what Warren Buffett said. He said that the, the stock market is basically where money moves from impatient hands to patient hands. We have patient hands. And I'm encouraging you guys to be patient because it's going to bring us a huge payday. So where is this price going to go? I think we're going to get back between back to $10. So in 120 days after the pop, we're going to hit back to ten dollars, maybe between nine and ten. I think I don't think it'll go any lower than that in the coming days. And I don't think that when it comes down to that ten and nine dollar price, I don't think it'll stay there for days and weeks and months. That accumulation period is over. Now it's going to be a slow bleed off where people are going to be tempted to get in at 14, 13, 12, 11. But you want to remember that I told you that the darkest uh, bleed off day is going to give us a nine to ten dollar chain link 
right before April and that's what I want you guys to be watching for because that's where you can potentially that's where I'm going to load some more so I'm gonna be watching it carefully now I loaded the entire time that we were in winter and I hope you guys did too I know in the comments section one of you guys said to me Josh thank you you helped me with Chainlink. I watched your video and I loaded Chainlink and now I'm doing great. I wanted you to have the update, guys. I hope all this was helpful. I need that feedback in the comment section. I want to know what you guys are doing with crypto. I want to know what you think about the prediction I've made. I'd like to know how your uh, portfolio is looking. Are you down in the dumps or has this thing begun to turn around for you? Are you starting to get excited again about crypto? Because I'm getting excited and because I'm beginning to see the reward of the risk I took over the last year. I hope this was helpful. Hope you guys have a restful weekend. Happy holidays to you guys. Uh, peace and blessings. We'll talk to you soon.